So this is the subject we are talking about. It is security system management in the tourism sphere. So in this particular class, we discuss about the importance, the very old importance of security activities and institutions to the safety of the tourist. If you can observe in the real life situations, tourists are the one who is the first to be targeted whenever it comes to terrorist activity. So this is what we are going to discuss and of course it is especially for you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at dr.christoanand at the rate of gmail.com. So I would never ever forget to thank God before beginning any activity. As for this session, I would like to thank God for giving me this golden opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national, international participants, students and young researchers. So in this session, we will have a short introduction to safety and security. Then we discuss about how the transport have rapidly developed. Then we discuss about the global terrorism index. We discuss some definitions, the safety as well as security issues in the tourism sector and about the impact concepts, quality in tourism through safety and security. Then we discuss about the social and political unrest. Then what are the key factors that is expected to shape this tourism industry? And of course, we will analyze the tourism market about the demographic changes, rise in individualized needs and preferences. Earlier, we used to adjust for everything, but now we want this, we want that. This has to be this, this has to be that. Okay. And demand for high quality services as well. Okay. And uh, I would like to show you from the literature. Maslow hierarchy of needs, then I will try to summarize this topic. Also, I have some assignment as well, so you will be completing them. No handwritten work, you are going to do all the work, you are going to research it, you are going to do that, and you are going to submit in the Google Classroom. Okay. And at regular intervals, I will be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in the topics. Right. Whenever when we are born as a human being, you have to be safe and secure. It's not necessary that you have to do the, yes, of course you have to do, everybody has some task, everybody has some responsibility, but safety, security, privacy, authentication really, really matters. So uh, definitely whenever it comes to tourism uh, destination as well, whenever there is a crisis, safety and security really matters. That has come up in this, uh, issues since 1970s when safety and security issues were still there okay like uh, there were bombing there were uh, war between two countries okay so they were there okay so terrorist attack may be maybe local wars natural disasters like maybe earthquakes tsunami okay mountain eruption uh, even terrorist attack also health care we had uh, cholera, we had chicken pox, many died during, many died only because of fever, many died only because of yellow fever, okay, so there has been several concerns that even would make the situation even worse, even the tourists will not travel from one country to another, okay, so maybe they will change their travel destination, even they, are, they will cancel their uh, tourism as well, okay, so tourism if you can say, Bo both positive things are there, negative influence is also there. For example, when you are going to con uh, one particular country, we do not know about that country, suddenly there is a tourist attack. Uh, if you can in imagine in India, uh, they will say um, November attack, November Taj attack, they will say. Okay, so suddenly uh, there was a terrorist attack, uh, tourists have been affected. Everywhere people were in panic, okay, that we will not know about it. So the situations uh, generally will affect the tourism in the regional level, in the global level, of course in the local level as well. So safety concerns is very, very important and of course it has been uh, brought about as mass tourism from 1950s. So earlier it was a social standard. Whenever you are going for travel and tourism, it's a high dignity, it is a high standard that you are going from country to country. Okay. But now it is very much common. Like even 
the low skilled workers also they go to another country they go and work they travel for businesses they travel for several kinds of exchange of goods imports exports and so on so you can say uh, tourism is not for the higher class alone but definitely if you can compare middle class people are too much traveling mm -hmm. okay so uh, middle class is progressively involving in the touristic activities okay so there is definitely this has uh, brought about the rise in the personal income as well uh, everybody is uh, as i can even say we are gifted to have leisure activity we are gifted to enjoy travel tourism as well as learn involve in educational activity and do business as well we are not having any restrictions unless covid if suppose covid has not happened then even more easier as well okay so tourism scope covers more and more countries as well in the regions as well even this country is known for several monuments historical monuments yes for example kiva uh, bukhara uh, samarkand historical monu monuments mother madrasas are all there several tourists uh, have come here okay and even we will expect maybe in the near future more and more uh, restaurants to come more and more um, country specific destinations to come as well okay so tourism is a part of economic development strategy okay so not uh, not only educational not only leisure but economic development activity as well so you can actually uh, rise above this economic rises through the tourism okay for example you take in the case of thailand mainly tourism okay singapore for them part is tourism okay even this country also we have tourism to be a major concern and the rapid and scenic development of the transportation you take in the case of flight or maybe automotive industry okay fast trains that are available like shirk uh, afrosia several that are there okay it can take you in any short amount of time even we have flights from samarkand to tashkent tashkent to samarkand we have everything okay so safety and security issues as we go on and on technology improves improves safety and security is also a matter of concern okay as i told you economic uh, development strategy is also going to develop because of this uh, thing okay so gdp the the country's gdp gr uh, gross domestic pro uh, product will also have an impact because of the tourism we have some one factor which is called as global peace index how far the nations as well as regions are peaceful in the country okay so we measure it by a factor we measure it with the index <coughs> so gpa is ranking 163 independent states and territories according to the level of uh, peacefulness so here we try to analyze the safety and security uh, issues whether the country is having international conflict between other countries this country no problem you take in the case of russia and ukraine okay will the people prefer tourism in russia not of course so they are having some war we do not know what happened but of course russia they will prefer no problem war is not in russia war is in ukraine only okay so that international conflict domestic conflict for example if you take in the case of ethiopia too much local conflicts a uh, fight between two groups of people so that happens okay degree of militarization okay internal factors external factors violence crime before coming to the center i was go i was doing some google search uh, be cautious there is some crime there is some theft burglary after coming here i am thinking what is this nonsense nothing so far nothing so far no, no activity like this okay so there has been places where there has been serious crime serious violence as well and of course they need military support as well uh, maybe war might happen so military expenditure also uh, plays a vital role 
so global terrorism index uh, also is a uh, important factor like global peace index so it is a composite score for the uh, uh, peacefulness of the countries with respect to the terrorism activity okay so based on the terrorism activity how much the country is ranking how much peaceful it is okay so the peace index will give you how peaceful it is and terrorism will give you the level of terrorism within the country and outside the country okay so illustrating trends data series of analysis by the researchers and policy makers then you have human uh, development index how healthy how happy how good the human being is okay so that is human developing uh, development index so generally we will categorize it as high medium or low for example before coming to this country uh, i was checking in google uh, terrorism activity what level uh, uh, level of peacefulness how much level covid covid affected countries how much level so they were ranking it as uh, 1 2 3 4 okay covid level okay fairly uh, high okay but other factors it was fairly low only after confirmation only i came to this country okay suppose if the terrorist activity is too much okay forget about the covid level covid level definitely it will decrease terrorist activity is too much and peaceful index is also low means maybe i would have thought twice before coming to this country okay so uh, people's freedom is very very important okay so that has to be taken in a broad sense with the case of human development index and of course there is a factor called as travel and tourism competitiveness index okay so that is actually uh, rules and regulations or maybe factors that enable sdg sustainable development goals okay sustainable development in this travel and tourism sector okay so definitely if you if tourism is developed means generally country will also indirectly it will develop in order to attract more tourists it will develop more and more okay so that will generally uh, make a good healthy competition between countries okay and uh, of course in the travel uh, and tourism competitiveness index we measure safety security as well so violence tourism everything is taken into account but small crimes like maybe uh, like a pickpocket thieves what you call so that is not taken into account only that bigger uh, image of violence or maybe crime is taken into account so um, even uh, safety and security if you can see generally uh, <coughs> in this researchers concept it is actually different safety is different security is different okay definitely that has to be different as well an oxford dictionary defines safety as the condition of being protected from or unlikely to cause danger risk or maybe injury okay and security is state of being free from danger or threat identify the difference between two safety is nothing but condition of being protected okay or unlikely to cause danger risk or injury security is free from danger or threat okay you are secure that is different safety is different okay but in tourism literature both are considered as twins okay so we'll uh, identify the safety security features as well so safety is nothing but the precautions put in place to prevent tourists and industry workers from being exposed to situations where they believe they are in personal danger due to crime accidents and emergencies this i would like to tell uh, as an example for the case in ethiopia for example in uh, one of my friend in ethiopia he was working in addis ababa okay so he was working in one particular uh, university okay on a private university so suddenly there was uh, uh, fight between two countries i am sorry not two countries between two local people okay so immediately they sense the danger so they were brought into one particular hotel okay and they they was uh, informed you please go to the country okay india and come back after two months 
so they will pay the salary no problem okay but the hotel next to it was destroyed so that much fear they will have okay so that is how you are going to um, securely take the tourist from these activities so they are concerned about this uh, foreign expat teachers as well so that is very very important security is the set of precautions put in place against hostile attacks that seek to inflict a larger scale of damage resulting in maximum economic disruption or measures taken to guard against espionage or sabotage crime attack or escape so uh, security concerns as i told you last time when i went to the middle east again when i went to january 2020 they said you cannot go because of security reasons you shouldn't go didn't you see the news they asked me i said what what kind of thing is this but my institution needs me please i will go there no problem i will uh, somehow manage no problem no no because of the security concerns you shouldn't leave india so that is for the crime for the attack for the escape as well okay so as i told you not only positive impact negative impact is also there and we are actually thinking in a multifaceted relationship as well so impact uh, concepts will categorize uh, it based on the security situation so this we would have uh, the impact concepts as well 